a true fact. Over 1,700 new millionaires are made in the USA alone every single day, and over 4,000 all over the world. This is happening as we are speaking right now. So my question is, how do they do that? How are they able to achieve this? Well, uh, you know, the news are telling us that the world is falling apart every day and all this negative negativity is going on. So um, the reality is that you have the power to turn your life around, change your mentality and mindset, and take action today. And uh, the best way to actually start getting into this new world is to actually start your online business and become your own boss. And there's a big potential for you to be able to quit your job and start doing this as your full time okay so it's gonna require some time and some work so it's not gonna happen uh, in one day to another right so I recommend uh, you go to epiclifehq.com where you're gonna be learning from the best online entrepreneurs um, and this is my advice to you this is what you want to do is actually instead of signing in for a course that you don't know what the outcomes gonna be and sometimes you don't even know you might know who created the course, but you don't really have to, like, you don't really get to interact with the creator. Right here, what you're going to be doing is getting that one-on-one -on -one mentor, <clears throat> which is going to be guiding you through the process. And you're pretty much copying a millionaire and learning what they're doing, how they did it. So there's no better way to learn than doing that, guys. And uh, so check it out. Go to epiclifehq.com. Start your new journey today. And... Uh, I'm here sharing with you some of the things that I've been working on since I started my journey not that long ago. So I'm still a beginner in a sense, but I believe that being part of this community has actually given me uh, an accelerated uh, process of learning uh, all the right strategies and the right way to do it. And what's important is like, uh, you're gonna be learning from um, these amazing online entrepreneurs that actually when they started um, back then, uh, they didn't have all these options that we have right now. And uh, <clears throat> they're letting us know what they, their mistakes were and things, that, the things to avoid. And that's very valu valuable information. Uh, you're not going to get that. Uh, it's not going to be available for you in many other places out there. So um, Let's talk a little bit about blogging, guys, because uh, blogging should be part of your new online journey and also is part of uh, your online business. This is going to be more like in the long run. So there's things that we're going to set up um, to start making income in, in, a, in a faster way, which uh, would be more related towards uh, running ads. Uh, you can do Google ads or Bing ads, Facebook ads, and all that kind of stuff, and promoting your offers. Um, but then uh, that's going to be more like a faster thing, which I'm sure most of you, I mean, you should also get into that, right? That's a thing that you want to be learning how to do. But uh, what we call the more like the long-term revenue is going to be coming in from your YouTube channel and your blog. So uh, I recommend, guys, uh, my recommendation is that if you can do one video per day and one blog per day, I know that can be a lot of work, but if you can do this, guys, once you reach your 90 days uh, for your blog, um, it's uh, Google's going to start taking notice of it, and um, then uh, your rankings are going to start going up. But there are also some things that you should keep in mind when when the blogging comes into place um, because um, what happens is that you want to make sure that you're using the right keywords when you write so it's it's kind of like um, when I first started my, my advice to you is like you know if you have a topic that you want to talk about that's awesome uh, start talking about uh, any niche that you like, you already kind of have an idea of what you want to do that's really good for you. In my case, I didn't really know what I was going to be talking about, so I started pretty much talking about what I've been learning as, an as a new affiliate marketer. So I chose to name my blog, Become a Successful Affiliate Marketer. So the first thing you want to do, guys, since you get started, first of all, get started with the right platform. So you want to make sure you're in wordpress.org. 
and not WordPress.com because that's a big mistake that some people make and keep in mind there's a lot of things that go into it you're gonna have a domain that you're gonna attach to it so for example mine is andreskindred.com and you can land here in my blog right I purchased that domain they're only like 12 bucks so I got mine from Google and you can there's different you can just buy a domain like easily anywhere right and then there's a process that you're gonna be attaching it to your Google to your blog then if you're gonna be transferring to another platform guys it's kind of it's a little bit of uh, I mean it's, it's, it's doable and you can do it but uh, if you already have all this content and it's already ranking on Google and then you realize that you're in the wrong platform that's so you want to make sure you're starting in the right platform so I highly recommend that wordpress.org and um, so let's let's get into this. You're gonna you're gonna this is how it's gonna look. You're gonna go to this little dowly here, and I'm just gonna give you like an overview on how this works. So I'm um, logging into this, and you're gonna have your tools on the left. So this is the first thing you're gonna do is like you go to posts here, and this is where you're gonna post. Okay, so you go to add new, and you start writing. But I'm just gonna go to let's go to my latest blog that I wrote yesterday, actually. So if you go in here, you're going to see all of your posts. And uh, so you can see I have 50. I'm still trying to get to that 90 mark, but uh, it's uh, it's hard, right? So I personally have been doing mostly um, YouTube videos every single day. And then I try to do a blog also, but sometimes it gets a little hard. So at least I do minimum three blogs per week. Guys, that should be your minimum, okay? So it's going to be some work. But eventually, you're gonna start getting more traffic if you keep it consistent, guys. Uh, there's gonna you're gonna have some more revenues of passive income that are gonna be coming in from your YouTube and your blog. So make sure you take this, make sure you add this, and understand that you're building digital real estate here. And let's click on this one here. Let's call this one best affiliate strategy. So that title right there, uh, it's a very strategic. Uh, way that I got that I came out with this title right so another thing you want to do is like you want to go to your keyword planner from uh, from um, where is this called uh, your Google Ads okay so if you got a Gmail account just go to your dashboard and you're gonna have this icon here it's called Google Ads right and then all you go is you go to this little tool setting here and go to keyword planner okay and this is how it's going to look so right here you can type in whatever topic you're looking for okay so let's say um, let's talk about um, you know affiliate market so I want to do a blog about affiliate marketing so go here affiliate marketing and just go enter okay so with this tool and this is super important. I'm going to get into this in a second. If you see here, it says average monthly searches. Okay. So this word, for example, the first one here, this one is searched. Let's see, um, 1,000 to 10,000 uh, times an average search, search for month. Okay. So that means like, for example, Amazon affiliate marketing. It's a pretty popular word that people are searching, okay? So this is what happens, guys. When you're starting your blog and Google doesn't really know that you're there, right? Even if you write your first week, it's, it's going to be, you know, this is going to take some time for you to build. So the strategy that you want to be using is that you want to choose words that are actually getting searched the least. Like, um, let's say one that, let's find one that is searching, is getting searched. These ones are too much. 100 to 1k still too much you want to find something that is searched 10 to 100 times per month this one for example finance affiliate marketing best affiliate link programs affiliate marketing with this with free class um you know so you want to find this whatever topic it is right um you want to find that because what happens is that only 10 to 100 people are searching for these words but that means that someone is going to discover your blog like somehow it's gonna get discovered by a few people at least 
if you're choosing a, a broad like a word like this affiliate marketing that is searched um well like we said it is searched from ten thousand to one hundred thousand since you just started doing your blog guys uh no one's really going to find you and you're not going to rank because cause the blogs that are going to rank first are the ones that already have the big authority and they've been ranking for some t sometimes even years right so you will get there but you want to make sure that you're using words that are just getting searched uh not that much so all my words here if you see like all these titles here that i'm doing I've been choosing them as those those um uh words they're all strategically made okay so there's there's a lot of things that go into it, but that's the first thing you want to make sure you're starting like keep that in mind whatever topic it can be any niche you know if you're into the health niche for example, make sure the topic that you're writing has you know you have to choose some words right do some research on that and um then what we have here is this awesome tool. That is called Yoast, okay, and it comes already. It's one of the plugins that come in your blog. So, uh, what you want to do is that you want to click on this little smiley face here. You want to make sure that is green, right? So, um, they're going to tell you to choose in a focus key phrase. So, that key phrase is pretty much like your title. But it's not necessarily, it could only be part of your title, but this is going to be kind of think of it as like your center kind of like word that is going to trigger your, 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 your blog post <clears throat> in the internet, right? So this is kind of like your center and all the, what you write about should be based on like this word. So usually the title is a good way to do it. So you're going to add that word here, focus key phrase. And what's amazing about Yoast is that it's going to tell you exactly how to write like the blog and it doesn't have to be super technical or anything in fact uh google really likes when uh when you write very simple the most it's, it's all about the user friendly and you everything that you do with their blog has to be um mo mostly like you want to make sure the user is getting what they're looking for right so um for example uh in this one here it says best affiliate strategy I wanted to talk about a good affiliate marketing strategy, right? And that was the closest title that I could find that relates to what I'm trying to talk, even though it's not necessarily the perfect title that I want, but I know this word is at least getting searched, right? And, you know, if you go here, uh, you know, there are different strategies that you can implement for your success. Some are more based on social media, others can be through running solo ads and many others. So it's very simple and, you know, I'm still working on my English and everything. The more you do this, uh, this has been amazing for me, guys, because um, doing these videos and writing, it's just, uh, I'm just, it's, that's the best way to learn, guys. So just get into a habit because this is only going to help your communication skills and it's going to help you, whatever you end up doing with your online business. So remember, YouTube and blogging should be uh, together. And in fact, what I did is that I actually, I did a video about this yesterday and I posted it and then I wrote about it, you know? So that's a great strategy. You, 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 you choose one, one topic that you wanna talk about. So for example, today I'm talking about blogging, right? Cause I'm making these videos. So I'm gonna write a blog about what I'm talking right now. Um, and then just keep going here with this tool. Uh, it's going to tell you to write a slug. A slug is pretty much your key phrase. And then you just add um, like this little dash here. It's like a, um, like it's kind of like a search engine kind of Google thing. So it's, it's pretty much, that's what it is. And then the meta description, you want to make sure that you have that title in there for that key phrase, best affiliate strategy. And your meta description is mostly, it's more like a little advertisement that you're doing about your blog. So you want to learn how to uh, lose 20 pounds in a week or something. Uh, go to my program and I will give you this free report or, you know, so that's, but you want to make sure you have that. And this is how it's going to look, for example. This is how it ends up looking on the internet when people look at, look at it. Uh, and then the words are here, best affiliate strategy. And as you can see, affiliate is one of the words that is very relevant to my blog, you know. Um, and that's 
pretty much it for this first part of your SEO. Um, and then the, mo the other most important one is you're going to go to your red ability, right? And that's where this is awesome, guys, because you, Yoast is going to be telling you exactly what you're missing or what you need more. So, for example, the first thing is like transition words. Um, you know, sometimes like yesterday, I remember when I wrote it, I didn't have enough transition words like, you know, so because and so all I did is like I added a couple of those uh, when when I thought, for example, this one. And this is the first thing that you, your potential buyers will see. I added that and it wasn't there. So it's it's going to tell you very little things like that to make it perfect, pretty much. And, um, you know, um, that does the, the first of us sentence length. I learned this one already, but apparently you don't you, you don't want to have too many phrases that are more than 20 words long. So let's do one. Let's see one one of my phrases here, for example, this one here. And it's all about starting to do it and stay consistent with it. Right. So how many words is that? One, two, three, four, five, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Right. Some of them might be a little bit longer. So it's OK to have just a few. But if you have too many phrases that are too long, Yoast is going to tell you you got to cut that off. So what you can do is just put a period and then separate it into separate sentence. So it's really good, guys. And then par paragraph length is going to tell you if your paragraphs are too long. Usually they kind of look like this and they are OK. But once they start looking a little bit like longer, that's when Yoast is going to tell you to cut it off a little bit. Uh, so that's very important. Um, you want to have, um, you know, for example, this one here, you want to have your, let's see what else uh, it tells us. Subheading distribution, great job. So the subheadings are pretty much, you know, like your, what we call the H1, H2, H3. So your H1 is your title. Your H2 is going to be your subtitles, right? And then your H3 are going to be a sub subtitle, right? So for example, this one here, that's my title. Then this one is an H2. If you see here, that's an H2. Uh, this was an H2. And this one's also an H2. Another H2. Okay, H2. So this one I did all, all H2s, right? Some of them I do have some H3s, for example, uh, if you want to start elaborating, for example, effective email campaign, right? And then I could do an H, for example, I'm just going to, you go to this little plus here, and then you add a paragraph. And I could do, for example, something like email campaign. So I'm going to start elaborating on an email campaign. So for example, uh, Aweber, Aweber. Autoresponder. And then um, this amazing tool will allow you, you know, and then you start, you just start writing your, your blog, right? Uh, your, your paragraph. And then you can make this one. You go here, click on there. And then this little P this sign here, you're going to make this a heading at three, H3. <clears throat> so that means that you're going to start elaborating over on under this topic, right? I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get rid of this. Um, <clears throat> cause this blog is already being published, so I'm not going to touch it. Um, and you want to make sure you have a mix of those. You don't want to do all your blogs just with H2. So you want to make sure because Google is taking notice of all of these things that we're doing, guys. And um, so that's uh, some of the tips that I wanted to give you about blogging. There's a little bit more that goes into it. But again, guys, the main thing is for you to start taking action. Start writing. It doesn't matter what you want to write about. But make sure you go to this Google Planner and choose a word that at least is getting searched for 10 to 100 times so that way you can start ranking in google and you keep doing this consistent guys once you reach 90 google is going to start taking real notice so i know for me i still need a little bit i need a lot of work still but i'm starting to take action don't let it drag guys so because if you don't do at least a couple of blogs a week google also takes notice of that and it's going to affect your ranking so you want to tell Google that you're constantly posting 
and then eventually if you keep doing it guys uh, you're gonna have a lot of traffic and you can put any offers that you want and then people millions or thousands of people are gonna be clicking on it and it's just gonna be great guys so uh, keep doing this uh, this is how you'll build your online business and I will see you very soon in my next video okay thank you for watching and have a nice awesome day